it's Emmy. Welcome back to my channel, Frugal Money Saver. How is everyone today? I have a quick recipe for you that I think you are going to love. It is my creamy chicken and rice. I had prefaced it in uh, a video I did the other day, and I'm working on a new video now, but I wanted to just um, come back around to this video that I had done back in the summer. I think it was August, and I want to share with share it with you now because it is the season for this so if this sounds interesting stick around watch my video if you're new here I am trying to get to 200 subscribers by January we're December 5th today um, so I think I can do it so come on if you haven't yet subscribe and become a part of my frugal family Give this a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And again, this was filmed in the summer, so if I look a little bit more tan and relaxed, you'll understand why. But I guarantee you're gonna love this video. Enjoy, bon appetit. Okay, so let's start making our creamy chicken and rice. This is so yummy. It's a warm, creamy, comforting dish that it's good any time of the year. It's getting cooler here in New York. I think it was like a high of 70 today and the nights are in the 50s now. And it's the end of August, so I don't even want to think about it. But, okay, to start, we're going to start our oven to preheat 425, okay? And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take one of my wrappers. And if you saw some of my older videos, when there's a little bit of butter left, I take it and I put it in the fridge. And I keep all these wrappers so they don't go to waste. And I butter and grease my pans with it. So, okay, we did that. So this is ready to go now. We're going to go over to here to the chicken and I'm going to cut this into little pieces. All these are is some chicken breasts that I seasoned with garlic, paprika, onion powder, and chili powder. And what I'm going to do is just cut them into bite-sized pieces. I baked these until they were done. You can use leftover chicken. You can use, if you have a rotisserie, you can use that. Any kind of cooked chicken can be used in this recipe, but it has to be cooked. You cannot use raw chicken in this, okay? So cooked chicken. So I'm just gonna cut this up real quick, okay? So let's watch. Okay, now we're going to take two cups of cooked rice. So our pan is buttered and our oven is preheated and we're gonna take two cups of cooked rice. This, I always tend to make my rice ahead and let it cool because I just think it's better because it doesn't stick together. Okay, so I'm putting this all in here. So this is just two cups of rice. If you have a bigger family, you know, you can double the recipe, whatever you need to do. Okay, so that's two cups of rice I'm just putting on the bottom. All right, I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Just because, well, you know what? I think I'm gonna use the rest. But I would stick with the, <laughs> I'm guesstimating here. Okay, so I'm eyeballing this, but it should be two cups, but I made a little extra and I don't wanna waste it, so. Okay, so there we have that. Now we're gonna go over to the stove and I'm gonna show you how to make the roux for this, okay? Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put in a quarter cup of butter and I'm just gonna melt that down. And then I'm going to add a quarter cup of flour to that and I'm going to cook it for about two minutes, whisking it constantly because you do not want to undercook flour. I know that sounds funny, but if you do not cook this, it's gonna taste like flour. So you need to make sure you do this till it becomes thick. Excuse me, once it becomes thick, to do it for about two minutes or so, or at least a minute, okay? So here we go. Okay, so this came out perfectly as you can see I've been whisking it now to this we're going to add one cup of milk 
Okay. Now we're going to continue to whisk this. And we're going to watch this thicken as it cooks. I have it on medium heat, and that's probably what you should be whisking it at when you were whisking it. You can see it's getting super thick now. So what I'm going to do now is add a cup of low sodium organic chicken broth. And I usually make my own, but I do not have any right now. So this is great though. Try to use this low sodium if you can guys. Um, only because the sodium in chicken broth is just so high. Okay, so we have our cup of milk, we have our cup of chicken broth, and now we are going to stir this till it gets nice and thick. I still have it on medium heat. Okay, as you can see, this is perfect. It took about, I guess, a minute or two, not long, and I kept it over like medium high heat and I just kept going, but you can see how much thicker this has become. Okay, now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna wipe down the sides again. Okay. Oh my gosh, you have to smell this already. Okay, what I'm gonna add now is I'm adding a cup of grated Swiss cheese that I grated myself. Okay, I the package cheese, the grated package cheese is fine, but they do coat it in a flour so it doesn't stick together. So it's a little bit different. So I wanted just fresh cheese. I'm gonna lower the heat now to like a medium low. Okay, so we got that in there. Oh my God, is this decadent or what? Wait till you taste this. And this is all used and made without canned anything. Now we put a cup of sour cream in. Okay, now I didn't say this was healthy. I said it was delicious. So that's why I said we use it for birthdays and special occasions. And I wanted you guys to see how I made it. So tonight my husband's getting spoiled, right? That's right. <laughs> Okay, you can see how beautiful this is coming together. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to whisking it for one minute to make sure it's ultra creamy and smooth. Now, you can add any vegetables you want, maybe some frozen peas, you could maybe add broccoli if it was chopped up fine, but we're purists when it comes to this. We're gonna have a large salad with it, so we'll definitely be getting our vegetables. And now, Lastly, we're going to add the chicken. Okay. Oh my goodness, how does that smell, Paul? It's oh, awesome. Okay, so it's really creamy rice with a sprinkle of chicken, but you can add as much chicken as you'd like. Okay. There we go, okay. Okay, now I'm gonna take this and pour it over the rice. Okay, now I, I know you think this looks like a lot of um, white sauce, but it totally soaks in to the rice and it makes this amazing sauce, amazing sauce. And we have one last little trick that we do. Okay, that looks just wonderful. It really came out beautiful. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is make a secret little topping. My secret little topping is Ritz, hint of salt, crackers on top. Oh, Dixie likes it. Sorry. <laughs> so what I do is take just some Ritz crackers and I put them in a bag, a little baggy. And then I just take them and I roll them out and crush them. Now, the recipe says that you're supposed to put these in butter 
But at this point, you know what? I think we have enough butter and cream and everything else. Just sprinkle these on top. Oh, come on. You know what? This, how can you go wrong? This is my husband's favorite part, right, Paul? The, the coating? It's delicious. I'm just sitting here salivating. <laughs> Hurry up, cook this thing. <laughs> Okay, beautiful. Now we're going to put it in a 425 uh, oven for 15 minutes. So check back with me in 15. Okay, here we are 15 minutes later. Look at this. Look at the bubbling. Oh my goodness, does that look delicious. And here are our salads with the croutons we made earlier. And what we did is it's lettuce, cucumbers, um, carrots, and then we had some leftover string bean feta and beef uh, beet salad from the other day when my in-laws came so we finished that up we just put that on top and we're going to dress it with a little extra virgin olive oil and some really good balsamic vinegar because we don't want anything too heavy because this is heavy enough so all right are we ready be very careful with this this is super hot whoa Oh my goodness. How does that look? You can see the chicken, everything. So here it is finished. I guarantee this is one of the most yummy things you will ever taste. So thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. And again, please give me a subscribe, give me a like, and leave me a comment about what you think frugality really is. Thank you again. I wish you blessings. Bye-bye.